Well, it's lovely to speak to you today, Valentina. I'm, I'm going to start by asking about Lubo, which I watched and thought was fantastic. It really kind of, felt like a kind of sprawling epic, kind of historical epic, and obviously wonderful performances too. Um, how did you kind of come to be involved in that project? And what, what was it about that project that really sung to you as, a, as an actress? So uh, I met the director a year earlier, mm. and actually I felt in love with him because um, I love Giorgio Diritti's movies, and I, I was really happy to finally meet him, and we had this beautiful first encounter. It was because it was not an audition. It was just a, a really long chat about cinema and our, our visions, and it was really, really nice. So I, I haven't read the... I didn't... I haven't read the script at the time. I didn't read the script yet at the time, sorry. Um, but even just talking to him, I, this is what I love, you know, sometimes, is just to, um, to meet someone and go like, let's do something together. And, and yeah, then of course I did the audition and, um, and I was lucky enough to be casted. Um, and then, um, yes, that, that, that is what, made me fell in love really meeting mm. Giorgio yeah. um, and I was excited to to work with him and also f with Franz because I mm. I knew Franz was already involved and uh, so that was it then um, for the character week I I kind of tried to understand what uh, Giorgio wanted her to be and uh, and he felt that the, the that for the movie the movie needed uh, her to represent some kind of hope, mm. hope for the protagonist, you know, and uh, so she was really small, and and Giorgio wanted her to be um, really fifty, mm. <laughs> if it makes any yeah, sense, because yeah, yeah. she's really delicate and really uh, private, mm. and that's how he he desired her. So mm. I tried, I tried to understand that and to. Yeah, to work in that way. And how, I mean, those connections you spoke about, like the one you had with the director here, I mean, that's so... I think sometimes audiences think it's very mechanical. They sort of see it as like, you choose this because this character's good or the story's good. But there's, there's so much humanity and, and connection, isn't there, as well, that comes into to making great art? Well, I think that to make great art, there... I mean, for me, there must be human connection uh, for, how I, for how I work. Um, it's not. It doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes it is me mechanical, as you as you say. Sometimes, like uh, you just do the best audition, maybe uh, with a self tape, or maybe it's just from Zoom, and they cast you, and you never really talked, and uh, uh, and maybe you do also a good movie, you know. Um, it's not always like that, yeah. but for sure, I'm a big fan of of uh, of connecting. Yeah. Uh, Franz, you mentioned Franz Rogalski, of course, wonderful actor, one of my favourites at the moment. Mm -hmm. He was a shooting star a few years ago. We spent a lot of time, we spent the weekends with him, of course, doing all of this sort of stuff. Did you speak to him at all about the shooting star experience? Have you sort of asked him any questions or any advice at all? No, not really, because he's a really private person mm -hmm. and I understood that, so I don't want to, yeah. you know, I don't want to push too hard. I, I really love him. He was an incredible to work with, but I really respect yeah. uh, people who who just feel that uh, they they protect their own mm. their own personal life and I, I respect that so I haven't no. reached out no and I mean we're talking of wonderful collaborations Michael Mann is another one of course can you just talk about what it's like to work on a set with a, a, a living icon of filmmaking like he is well can I just say because I feel I feel a bit weird mm. that my role was cut from the movie, yeah. so I need to say that because yes, people yeah. have no experience. Um, <laughs> but just but more in terms of your experience, I yeah, mean. no, it yeah. was a, bit, a beautiful experience. I had mm. a small role, but I felt it was really mm. a beautiful one, and the experience was uh, really fascinating because mm. Michael Mann, he's like, I he gave me the feeling mm. that uh, for him, like time stops mm. uh, while he's on set creating. Like, I really felt that uh, there is that death doesn't exist, if it makes any sense for him. Like, he's so involved in his crea creative process and he's kind of bulimic in it, like, in his process. It is so fascinating uh, to assist and, and to be the tool of, right? Um, 
So I wish it was longer to be able to play with him as well. But uh, it was short, so I I was like, okay, this is how is it? And it was really exciting. Um, but yeah. If you look at your career so far, your, your roles are very varied. This seems to, every character seems to be quite different from the one that came before. Is that a conscious effort on your part to try different things and different roles, or are you just taking the best stories and seeing where it takes you? Well, um, you know, I the reason why I accept it always kind of changed. I try, and I feel that the uh, further I go, I feel that I'm... I get closer and closer to the real reasons, mm. but I had to try different to understand. Mm. Uh, I've been, of course, if I, if I read something that I feel I've already investigated before, I'm not really interested mm. in it. So I'm like, oh, I don't, you know, I, I've already done that. Uh, so that's for sure why, um, uh, you know, I did different parts and I've been lucky enough that uh, people trusted me. And I am, sometimes I made, I made it, sometimes I didn't. Mm. Right, but I brought you here to Berlin as a European shooting star. So just very finally, my final question is just what, what, what does it mean to you on a kind of personal level to be, because I think a lot of actors, they underestimate the kind of size of the shooting star, but until they arrive and realise there's a lot of people interested, there's lots going on. I just wonder, Jay, if you've been, how it's actually felt to, to be here and be part of this experience. It's a bit overwhelming because it's a lot. It's a lot of things, and you don't expect. You have zero time to breathe and to understand what's actually going on. Uh, but I'm sure this is a great opportunity. I have not really expectation because you, you know, it's not under your control in any way. Uh, you, you have to be also lucky that there is a role that you're right for uh, out there somewhere. And then, um, but I am absolutely. I mean, the things that excites me the most actually is uh, to have met my colleagues mm. because it's beautiful how, how they um, organize it because they send you link of their movies before. Mm. So you watch them, you fell in love with them because yeah. they're all incredible actors. And then after a couple of weeks, you actually meet them. Mm. And this is uh, beautiful because we can talk about our work and our experiences and that's, wow. that's the gift. And realize everyone's a lot lighter in real life than the darkness of the characters that sometimes they play. Yes. Yeah. Also because mostly they were really dark, yeah. really dark movies. Uh, that's European <laughs> cinema, um, which I love. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. Much appreciated. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.